here in the states it's labor day weekend today's monday labor day most people have the day off work but i like to work so going to jeb's today gonna do some filming should be very interesting <laughs> Funny, I never know what I'm gonna get into till I get up there, so I always like pack all my equipment. Just take it all. And that way, hopefully, I'm prepared. Quick stop, gas station. Almost made it to Jeb's place. Had to stop and get uh, the essentials after a long river day. Monster, some Swedish fish, and some olive. Making lugs. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I need to. Warming it up. Warm that guy up. It's like, am I just what? Jeff's got all kinds of new projects in the shop. Modifying the beamer again and uh, Got both the hot rods coming together should be done pretty soon give you a couple clips
how how big? And you want like a sticker for the, like the like the window? It's like a small like three inch. Damn, Gina. What you did? Don't get so damn close. Cool. Getting shit done. All right, all right. It's, it's some cool this. stuff. Anyway, I think right. we're getting ready to go do lunch. All right, bye. What's up, party people? <laughs> My chariot awaits. Mine is, and I drive it on the street. I mean, you're gonna wear tires a little bit, but destroyed it. <laughs> good day at Jeff's today we uh, talked a lot of philosophy and uh, which is not normally our thing but got some fabrication in did a lot of filming gonna do a full feature on the twin turbo uh, hot rod and probably do a full update video on the BMW wide body um, you've seen some clips of those in this video so uh, stay tuned for those on the channel go follow Jeb go check them out I'll put some links in the description. He is on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and I think he's uh, just kind of starting to do some Snapchat stuff. So you can go check him out on all three of those or whatever one you prefer. Uh, always good stuff from him on those. And I um, guess that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to take just a second and kind of give you guys a little motivation as I usually do at the end of my videos. You know, I have. I have a lot of people ask me about uh, purpose and passion and I see a lot of uh, stuff out there about finding your purpose and your passion and um, I think it's something that's very important in life I mean I think that every one of us is destined to be great in whatever it is that we are passionate about and I think that our purpose in life is to go find those things you know, go find that go find that thing that you're you're good at and that you're very passionate about and achieve greatness 
I think that that's our purpose, whatever that might be. I mean, it could be, um, you know, it could be, you could be a, a preacher, uh, you know, you could be whatever it is. I mean, obviously, I feel like it has to be good things. I mean, I don't think that you should you should try to achieve greatness and things that are that are bad or negative. I mean, I'm all about positivity. I, you know, I, I believe that you should always surround yourself with positivity. And that includes uh, friends and family. If they're not, if they are not positive, they're not helping you out, and you need to cut them loose. You don't need to surround yourself with that kind of stuff. It does no good uh, to you. It can only be bad, and you should really only concern yourself with things that are good for you in your life. So, back to purpose and uh, and um, destiny and, and achieving greatness and whatever it is that you decide to do. My, my advice to you, if you're having, if you question what your purpose in life is on this planet and what you're, you know, what you're destined to do, um, sometimes it takes times of, you know, sometimes it takes a little time to find it, but just remember that everyone, every person on this planet uh, is, is destined for greatness in whatever, whatever field or, or niche or whatever it is that they choose. You just need to go find that, and it's not going to be easy. Go find that thing. Go figure out what it is that you're extremely passionate about. If it's cars, then do cars. If it's motorcycles, then do motorcycles. If it's, um, you know, a wedding planner, then do that. But you got to figure out what it is that you're passionate about, and you have to push all in, all chips. Uh, ride or die, you got to make it happen and go after it. Go get what you deserve. Go get what's yours. Um, go, you know, it's only the only person that's going to make a good life for you is you. So you have to go get it. You have to go make that happen. Uh, so go get your, you know, go get your great life. Go, go, you know, make it whatever it can be. I mean, just think, guys, we only got one shot at this, man. You only got one life. Um, it's going to go for you young guys. It's going to go fast. So you need to take advantage of the time that you have to go make the life that you want. And that could be whatever it is. It doesn't necessarily have to be rich or successful. Um, you know, that it could just be stress-free. That could be your goal in life is to have a stress-free life, not to be worried about anything. Now, money sometimes helps with that, but it's not necessary. I mean... There's people that go live off the grid and live off the land and they are 100% happy, stress-free, living the life and that was their that was their destiny and they were they went out and got it. They did what it what it took to go get that. And so I challenge you guys to do the same thing. Go get what's yours, go make the life that you want. I will tell you though, it's not easy. You have to put in the effort. It's not going to come to you this, this world does not reward people who don't go get what's theirs. So just think about that and know that, that there is greatness out there for you. If you want it, you just have to go get it. That's it guys for this uh, video. Thanks for hanging out as always. And uh, go subscribe. Love to have you along for the ride.